Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a shuffle toggle button for your music player app. So just like the play uh, and stop button, we're gonna make it so that when we click this, it switches between two different costumes. One is where the button is off and the other where it is on, like that. So to start, we're going to start with an event and we're going to tell it which one it's supposed to which costume is supposed to switch to at the very beginning when we reset everything. So we're going to say we want our costume to be off. Now for this example, we're actually going to create a variable. And so this variable, variable <laughs> I labeled it as is the shuffle button on. So I went to here, I typed it in and I created this variable. So at the very beginning, we're going to say is the shuffle button on? No, it is not on. So we just type in no. And now we're uh, we're done with our reset code. Yay, almost there. And so now we're going to uh, add in some more code, not that one, this one, that whenever we click on this, we're going to switch some things around. So we're gonna use a conditional. We're gonna say, if the shuffle button is off, turn it on. Otherwise, if the shuffle button is on, turn it off, something like that. So we need to use an operator and we're going to use the equal one. And then we're gonna go back to our variables and we're gonna drag in this one, is shuffle button on. So if the shuffle button is on, if it says yes, then we want to turn it off. So then we'll say, switch the shuffle button to no, because now it's gonna be off. And then we're going to switch the costume to off. The other side of the code else is gonna be just like this, except the opposite. So yes, and on. So now check it out when I click. Yay, it's switching. And if I go to my variables right here and I uh, click on this check mark, we can actually see, is this shuffle button on? Yes, it is. That's why it's green. And then we click, oh, no, it's off, on, off, on, on, etc. Cool, so it's working. Press this check mark again and it gets rid of that. Okay, so the button works, that's great. However, we need to actually code our stage to make a change. So we could have gone into here and we could have created a, uh, a button that was just like the next song button. So when you click on it, it goes to a random backdrop by simply saying, hey, when clicked, send a message and then switch backdrop to random, which is all the way down here. But I don't wanna do that for this. So we're going to um, make this a little bit more complicated. We're gonna make it so that every time it goes to the next backdrop, it switches to a random one as long as our shuffle button is set to random. Okay, so to do that, inside of our next, when I receive next, we're going to add in a conditional. So we're gonna to go to control and we're gonna say, if the shuffle button is on, then we want to go to a random one. Otherwise, if it is off, we just wanna to go to the next backdrop. And then at the very end, we wanna play everything. So. We go to operators and then we go to variables and we say, if the shuffle button is on, yes, then we're going to switch to a random backdrop and then play. Otherwise, if it is off, we're just gonna go to the next backdrop. So we need to add in the looks block and there are two ways we could do this. We could use a uh, pick random and then pick the number of backdrops or we could just press this triangle and say, go to random backdrop. Okay, so let's test this. Play song. If we go to the next song, it's dance around. Cool, but if our shuffle button is on, let me go to the next one. Ah, it went to, went to dance snare beat. So every single time we are switching while the shuffle button is on, it switches to a completely different one. We don't know what it's gonna be. But if the shuffle button is off, then we know which one it's going to be and it switches from the previous backdrop or the next backdrop. Cool, makes sense? So, quick recap. Just like your, let me stop this. Just like your play and stop button, you're going to make it so that it toggles between two different costumes, shuffle and shuffle on. And then you're going to make a variable and that variable you're gonna switch between no and yes, whether it's on or off. And in here, you're gonna add in this conditional that makes it so that if the shuffle button is on, yes, switch to random backdrop. Otherwise, go to the next backdrop and then play your song.
Cool. Have some fun. Add some code to this, or uh, you could even make your button fancier than this by making it so that you can press it, and then it like looks like it gets smaller, and then you let go, and it gets bigger, etc. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.